Your Majesty, there is a petitioner here to see you today. Not exactly sure where she's from. Uh, what does she want? You'll see soon enough, Your Majesty. <clears throat> I'm legalizing gay marriage. Welcome to Democracy Manor. Wait. Manor? Fest. There we go. Okay. Um, so, this update. What does it add? Uh, it adds three new schemes for all regions, including a loyalist scheme for winning regions. Uh, premium players, that means anyone who owns the game. So if you have the game, you can pick which region you actually will be in. Point is, there's a bunch of shit. This update's really cool and adds stuff that I really wanted the game to have. So, let's get the dynasty underway. Monarch name, my name is Rimi. Dynasty name is AEM. Of the AM. There you go. <laughs> God, do we do a vote again? Chad, do we do a vote or you want me to decide? Quick. All right, here we go. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it a nice and easy poll. I'm going to put all five options in. The top three get picked. That's the rule. Okay. The factions we are playing with are counts, patricians, and chiefs. Barons lost by only about 20 votes. Oh, my God. And the grandees are not even close. Oh, all right. Counts, patricians, chiefs. Council introduction. Now, we're going to skip through a lot of these because we've seen them all before. Chief Datanashi. Hello. How are you? Who are you? Wilted Cheese, your account. Hello, nice. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. Here we go. Uh, a pleasure, your august majesty. I expect to see our, uh, our kingdom prosper and grow wealthy. Okay, so as per usual, here is the vote. Uh, you guys get to decide. Let us have a lavish parade. There you go. Yep, okay. Well, we had a brief moment where the, the lavish parade almost won, but as per usual, uh, throw the king in the river always ends up happening. Oh my god. Voting has closed. 63 nobles voted to throw the king in the river. It was a bipartisan meeting as well. All the nobles decided from different regions. The king will now be thrown in the river. Let me get changed out of my nice robes. Alright, so this is my goal. Um... I mean, I hate that I always go for this one, but fucking military is our highest by a lot. Unless we could maybe go trade, but even trade is lower. You know what? Fuck it. An architect of a new golden age. I am the merchant. My fellow counts, in ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back these days of glory, but not while false, Rimi, uh, false King Rimi wears the crown. What? Is your job? Is it doppelganger? Is it ascension? Or is it possession? Alrighty. Possession has been decided upon. So I assume they're going to possess me, maybe? Summon a demon to possess the king! Putting him totally under their control. First, they must lure the king into a false sense of security. To advance their scheme, they must lower their defiance to four or, two or less in two seasons. Wow, that's really easy. Fuck. <laughs> you are Leah of the Doc the Kobold family, yeah? Fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of King Rimi. Something must be done. Uprising, you're going for a treasury. Okay, let's see. Patricians plan to incite a peasant uprising to overthrow the king before sweeping in to steal the throne for themselves. They must raise the treasury to 2,000 or more in two seasons. Is that so, patricians? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can just spend all of my money. Tana of the Aerul Gelian clan, infamous north. Prophecy, Ragnarok, or Hornblower? All right, Ragnarok it is. It's only like it's been voted for every fucking time. You plan to make an alliance with the ice giants to take over the kingdom. First, you must not be weak, or the giants won't take your proposal seriously. You must raise your military to five or more in four seasons. Well... It looks like the voting is really easy for you guys to start with, considering you all have your fucking things achieved already. <laughs> all right, a risky wager. Hold on to your masks, hats, and other accessories, everyone. Chief Pism7 Somali is about to lose a large amount of money. Uh, we bet our life savings on a boat race around the coast, and I am sure to win the day, says Trevor. So be sure, so sure, in fact, I petitioned the council to officially sponsor my voyage. They're talking rubbish, your majesty. My nice little carve will easily beat Trevor's old trireme. Uh, if you sponsor uh, anyone, sponsor me. Oh, all right. So it's a treasury cost no matter what. The only option 
that's terrible in this case is refusing to support anyone, I think it's pretty obvious what we do here. I vetoed the option to support no one. Let's go. I personally would vote for C. I vote that we help both of them. They can both get sponsored and both lose their lives in this race. I hope they both drown on the reefs. Beautiful. Okay, we've sponsored both nobles. Uh, the wealth goes up of both of those nobles. Our treasury goes down. And our authority goes up. But sure, you have the sense that one will outdo the other. Would you fancy a small wager? I'd love to. Where shall you place your bet? Bet on a draw? Why would I want to do that? Hmm. Hmm. Support me, my king. Please, I, you're both begging me. I can see you both in chat. However, Trevor's support me, my king. He referred to me by my title as king, and therefore I shall vote for the noble patrician to win the day. A fascinating choice to sponsor both, but bet on one. Perhaps that shows your true opinion. Hmm. Oh god, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck. I've spent all of the treasury on fucking boat races. Oh fuck! I've spent all of that money on boat races, guys! What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Uh, your treasury is almost empty, your highness. Where the hell did it all go? What possibly, what possibly could have happened to all of the money? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from raising taxes, we have precious few options. You could sell it again a bank loan or sell it to crown jewels or perhaps crack open some of your predecessor's tombs. All right, fuck it. You know what? Let's crack open some tombs. Fuck it. I want to go grave robbing. All right, we desecrate some tombs, get some gold. Nice. And defiance raises. I don't care. My mum's here. Why haven't you found a spouse yet? I've been busy gambling on boats. You know what, patricians? You've had it a bit rough. You've had it a bit rough. I'm going to leave you guys just on common tax. All right? You guys you guys can have a day off. Everyone else, uh, you're getting heavily taxed, you know? that that uh, The northerners, you guys are putting together a big army. You can afford some spare money. All right? And the counts? Well, you guys are evil. That's my entire statement on that. <laughs> there we go. Word from the boat race. <gasps> oh, the race continues. Well, for fuck's sake, the race continues. <laughs> All right. We brought a lot of preserved turnips with us. Weevils have gotten into the barrels. If we're not careful, we'll starve. We found this unfamiliar kelp that could be our answer to our prayers. We don't know if it's poisonous. Now, guys. <laughs> now, guys. <laughs> now, guys. <laughs> We gotta make him eat the weed. <laughs> we gotta make him eat the seaweed, all right? The monarch says, put it in your mouth. Good to see it's a 50-50. All right. And it's definitely not just because I voted on the other guy. Uh, the king never loses a bet. The gods are good. The seaweed tastes oddly like meat. And after we figured out how to cook it properly, the sailors love it. Nice. Oh, fuck, he got the lead. There's still plenty of time to go. Fuck, 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 fuck. So we now need to, uh, to see our women. This is Helga, the firstborn daughter of the Northern Grunt Master Clan. <laughs> All right, I like her. She's a serious contender. I like her. Valentina, the eldest daughter of the Eastern Ladyamav uh, dynasty. Forgive the snooty expression. I'm sure that's caused by an errant brushstroke. Wait, she went missing a while ago. It turns out she'd locked herself in the cellar. Okay. Then we have Octavia, the wealthy heiress to Lord Patrician Freedom for Sparta's estate. She wasn't originally an heiress, but her, her elder sister had an unfortunate accident. Her interests are typical of the coast. Money, 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 and making more of it. She's said to be led by her passions living in the moment with no thought for a reputation. Now, normally I'd go for the tomboy of the north, but I like money. I like money a lot. You don't understand, guys. A marriage is a beautiful way to write off tax. <gasps> no! Trevor! There's a mutiny on Trevor's boat? No! Trevor! Fuck! We beg for aid. My crew has turned against me. They say I'm working them too hard. There's no hope of winning anyway. Now they demand higher pay. They're threatening to throw me overboard. Depths below, we must step in. These sailors can't be allowed to disrupt this race like this. Absolutely not. 
If Trevor 4435 couldn't control their own crew, that's their own fault, and they don't deserve to win. Send coastal troops. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Making the patricians pay the funds? That's actually a pretty clever idea. I like that. Hello, counts and chiefs. I would like to talk to you guys for a moment. Let's vote B to rob the patricians each of $750. You would like to remove $750 from every single patrician. Do it. Monarch's iron choice. Begin. The north is now furious. Uh, the coast is loyal. The patricians have now... Wait, the coast became more loyal and made them give all of their money away. I'm glad you guys like me. <laughs> and my authority is now commanding. Oh my god, they send a small boat to hand it over. The sailors are overjoyed and they uh, return to their work. Wait, stories of their victory spread through the coast and as strikes spread, more workers achieve better- Oh, we fucked up. Guys, we fucked up. We fucked up, guys. We fucked up bad. We fucked up bad. <laughs> We're encouraging striking. <laughs> Still, they remain behind him and the race is nearly over. Catch up, come on. Far to the north, where snow blankets the landscape and wolves howl in the night, the chiefs plot to bring about the end of the world. Ragnarok. That's terrible. The chiefs have to raise uh, the region's trade to combine 12 or more in the next two regions. Fuck. That's terrible. Wildlife has gone berserk in the rural villages. They're attacking villages and travelers all over. Tell me more about these creatures. They're great hulking beasts, clearly twisted by magic. The other regions have plenty of their own problems, your grace. No one wants to march up to the frozen north for something like this. You're all as useful as nipples on a breastplate. <laughs> all right, chat. Hi there. Hi there, patricians. Hi there, counts. I'd like to talk to you about a little something of mine. And it's called Voting C. The reason being is, these guys are trying to end the world and invade our country and kill us all and may potentially rebel as well. We do not want to give them more military power. That'd be a bad idea. However... We could lower their farming and increase their faith. That sounds like a great idea. What do you guys think? Patricians? Counts? You guys suck at this, you know, Counts? Vote C, damn it. When the chiefs invade and destroy the entire region, which includes you, by the way, the Counts. The Counts were to blame. The coastal boat race is nearly at a close. I'd hope the coast would win the day, but it seems that Chief Smarley is in the lead still. Regrettably, things aren't going how the king bet. Hmm. Wait a second. I have a shipment of silver that is due to intercept the races any day now. If my ship got in the way, who knew what? Uh, who knows what might happen? I dare say the race's outcome could be altered. Shameless sabotage. Hmm. Shameless sabotage. Hmm. I think it's quite clear what we have to do here. Block his path, gentlemen! Pay and block his path! <laughs> ah! It's a good day. The North's about to rebel. The Coast's defiance literally cannot go any lower. The East has made some money. <laughs> oh my god. Soon, nobles and peasants alike gather at the finish line, watching breathlessly as the winner arrives. AND IT'S BOTH OF THEM! FUCK! <laughs> GOD DAMN IT! They have bet their life savings on this race. Both have a legitimate claim. What should we do? <laughs> and I'm not just saying this because I want to win my, my bet back. TREVOR IS THE WINNER! The defiance is now treasonous. <laughs> it's time to pay up. 1500 I can't believe I rigged that. I spent more money rigging the race than I won than I won in the bets. The trade is now do oh. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and here we go. Rebellion report. The chiefs are rebelling. Too long have those bastards in the crown lands held us down. Too long have they called us heathens and knocked our way of life. Aye! Now it is time we take up our axes and fight back! Morgana is with us! We'll burn their churches and string up their lying priests! Aye! Now I ask you, brave chiefs of the free north, where shall we strike first? The patricians. They're poor, two-strength military. 
I don't think this is going to go well for them. They catch a regiment of the coastal army unawares and spring an ambush, slaughtering them to a man. Common folk whisper that the battleground will be stained red for a generation. Wow. The army of the north is advancing on our capital, led by that traitorous Kerr, Chief Gruntmaster. Uh, the coast can intercept them in a matter of days. Alternatively, they could go join the east. Hmm. Nope, patricians and counts join forces. Because they're useless otherwise. We have our orders, but should we follow them, says the patricians. Patricians, you guys have one military score. Please do not defy orders and fight the rebels alone. You will kill yourselves. You will kill yourselves if you do that. Please do not. I am begging you. Very nice. And hey, weapon? Dragon? Surplus? I see which way you guys voted. I see this shit. Don't think I don't. Counts. Fight! You have an 80% chance here, Counts. You have an 80% chance? Counts, please, for the love of God, press A. You are just going to let them win the game if you vote B. You literally let the Chiefs straight up win if you vote B. All right. Yes! 80% chance. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't XCOM. Don't XCOM. Don't XCOM. Don't XCOM. Come on. Come on. I cannot believe that not only did I succeed at like a 35% chance earlier in the game, but we roll an 80 and we fucking fail. The most important one. Uh, you follow your spy master through a hidden trapdoor behind your throne. Octavia accompanies you, muttering prayers. After crawling down a secret tunnel for what feels like hours, you spill into a leafy courtyard. Three horses are waiting. As you saddle them up, you hear a wet thud behind you, followed by the sound of something rolling across the floor. Your spy master is lying dead on the ground. Her head is missing. Chief Gruntmaster stands over the body, flanked by a dozen soldiers. Her battle axe stained red. After a week of running in your own dungeon, you march on a, pub uh, march on a public platform, jit at thousands of peasants. You cringe under a barrage of rotten fruit and fresh dung. She sits in the front row, grinning. The rebels have won, the capital has taken. You are a former king. The executioner awaits. You have any last words? Now's the time. Well, I'll be heading off then. <laughs> my head bounces into Chief Gruntmaster's lap, and my reign comes to a gruesome end. <laughs> oh man! Oh, this fucking game. Rimmy the Grave Robber. Excellent. Hold on a second. So, you actually keep playing as the same empire, but this time I'm the queen that overthrew me. I now play as Queen Tana of the AIM Dynasty, presiding over the Counts, the Patricians, and the Chiefs. Now, just to be clear, guys, just to be clear, all right, I know I may have hated the Chiefs last round, but I'm Queen Tana this time. I am literally a chief puppet put on the throne, all right? So, uh, so just remember that. <laughs> you did it! We seized- you seized the throne! We showed him- uh, sorry, we showed him what the chiefs could do, didn't we? Now just remember which side of your bread is buttered. You answer to us, got it? Long live the North! Long live the North! When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? I mean, the straightforward answer is just as a conqueror, because we have a fuckload of military already. I could go for trade though, actually. You know what? You know what? I fucked up last time, but now I will start as the architect of a new golden age. Uh, okay. Glory, the false queen Tana. All right. So, Counts, what are you going? Are you going to possess me? Are you going to try to ascend? Or are you going to try to do a blood ritual? I do think the blood, lit blood ritual sounds the funniest. I didn't want to uh, influence it by saying anything beforehand, but uh, I like that one. And now the chiefs. Oh, man, look at that fox. It looks fucking awesome. Loyalist! 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 Gruntmaster27, you cut off my fucking head. I see you. I know you. 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 You! 
That settles it then. Long live the queen. May she bring glory to Morgana. We can always change our minds. If Tana ever gets out of line, then we can take up arms and get rid of her the old fashioned way. The chief's goal is to aid the queen by countering the other region's schemes as much as they can. They will win the game if the queen produces an heir and completes her ambition. That's fucking cool. That's a really cool game mechanic. Your majesty, there was a petitioner here to see you today. I'm not exactly sure where she's from. Uh, what does she want? You'll see him soon enough, your majesty. <clears throat> I'm legalizing gay marriage. Greetings, your majesty. My name is Oried. I have a pro uh, proposition for you. Uh, Oried, where are you from? Distant shores, your majesty. I love her outfit. Why does she look like Spanish? I am but a, a humble ship's captain. Once of great renown, but that was a different time. Three ships are docked in a harbor to the west. Their holds are packed to the gills with muskets and gunpowder, and each boasts a full battery of cannons. They are all yours in exchange for a small favor. I only wish to stay in this kingdom with your blessing and protection. I can show your soldiers how to use the weapons, of course, to avoid any accidents. All right, what did you do? I don't know what you mean, Your Majesty. I simply wish to keep my dealings private. I hope you'll forgive me. All right. Gentlemen. Would we like to let the hot tomboy gun smuggler into our country so that I can marry her? I don't feel like this is much of a vote, honestly. <laughs> Very nice. Oriad and her weapons prove most useful in the coming months. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, uh, chiefs, turns out we can't go higher than 10. Uh, whoops. <laughs> We've actually just armed the other two regions, chiefs. <laughs> now listen, I know I, I know the old king was called King Rimmy the Grave Robber. Okay, but it lowers my stability, so I gotta do it. I'm robbing the tombs. They're not my ancestors, they're his ancestors. Come on. A plague of rats. <laughs> what a terrible thing to happen immediately afterwards. Topper strides into the council chambers, distraught, waving a dead rat by its tail. The fields and barns of the east are overrun by vermin with no more poison for these horrible things. We can't cope anymore. Have you tried seething? Uh, wow, the East actually could handle this alone. Look at that, 80% farming. They definitely could handle this alone. Send them a shipment of cats. That's actually pretty adorable. I like that idea. Hire some adventurers. No, I'm sorry, guys. We're, we're sending cats. <laughs> we're sending cats. We're just sending a bunch of cats. I'm glad everyone's decided to vote for the correct choice. It's such a shame we forgot to put any food in the box before we shipped them over there. I can't thank you enough, your grace. You send a caravan of cats over to the east. By the time they reach their destination, they're both hungry and very angry. The perfect rat-catching mindset. Soon the rats are gone. A following springs up around a particularly successful mouse whose nickname is the Colonel, and a bronze statue is put up in his honor. He enjoys sunning himself beside the statue, and the townspeople bring him dried fish for good luck. Whether or not the gifts affect the town fortune remain to be seen, but he's a very happy cat indeed. Kurth bounty hunters landed in the coast not long ago. I see where you're going with this. Exactly. They're looking for me. I can fix her. I can fix her! I didn't expect them to come here. Clearly I was wrong. Tell me what you did, and I might help you. My crime was a crime of thought. I dared to disagree with the other senators on a matter of great import. So you're a senator of Kurth? I was. Once. Now I'm nothing. I can't believe I'm about to, I'm about to actually, like, lose myself the game just to marry this woman. <sighs> There you go. Ah, I love democracy. The vote succeeds, and the Kurth are now banned from entering the country under any circumstances. The bounty hunters are swiftly expelled. Trade is now wealthy. Ouch. Stability has gone down a little bit. Ouch. Oriet is grateful for your assistance, though your counselor warns of Kurth's inevitable response. Eligible options. What if I don't want to marry any of them? Uh, okay. Let's see the eligible bachelorettes. Let's see who we have. Freda, from the north, typical northern lass. Eh. Sylvia, the eldest daughter of the Eastern Shaoman dynasty. 
Oh, you you ran off at a party and squeaked? Okay, whatever. Uh, Camellia, wealthy heiress to daytime tangents. She's gorgeous, got a silver tongue. I imagine she's quite good at using it. What do you think? I've made my decision. I refuse to marry any of them! I see it. Far be from me to question my queen. Good luck in the days ahead. You'll need it. <sighs> all right. Your Majesty, a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. I come on behalf of the Kurth Senate and Grand Pensionary. We are aware of the ban you've placed on travelers from our country. We ask you to lift it. And while you're at it, we'd like you to release the fugitive captain you are hiding into our custody. Kurth will compensate you, of course. I would also humbly remind your Majesty that Kurth is a regional power that your Majesty would not like to anger, if your Majesty can help it. What's chat's feelings? What are we, what are we thinking? We ball, we ball, we ball. Everyone vote C. Vote C. We have a strong military. War. Fuck them. You know what this goes to show? The main thing that keeps a realm together is an external enemy. Everyone has very happily decided to say, fuck Kurth when it comes to defending Oriad. But then the moment we talk about like fighting each other, we're like, oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fighting each other again. Declining both requests, you politely ask the diplomat to be on their way. Seven authority. Reaction from Kurth will be swift. Oh, I don't care. Fuck off. During the reign of Queen Iga, the kingdom held a huge parade in honor of all the regions coming together. It was called the Day of Kinship, and it was quite the party. A festival, you say? Lots of drinking and dancing? I never need a reason for a party. Let's do it. Wonderful, your majesty. How much money do you want to spend the Day of Kinship? I'm sure the nobles will have their own opinions on the subject. Ah. Uh... Wait a second. Surely. Surely I can't, right? <laughs> Wait a second. What's gonna happen if I do this? Fuck it, we're about to find out. <laughs> I wonder what's gonna happen. Like, is it gonna auto-pick an option for us or something? <laughs> it's just a 30 second timeout. <laughs> Voting tied at zero. Break the tie by s How? How did I just do that? <laughs> did we just break the game? <laughs> what just happened? I, I think we managed to lose all of our gold. <laughs> Better hope we make some money back, guys. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Your Majesty, a ship exploded in the port. The water swelled like a tidal wave and my whole town was devastated. What kind of explosion? I have no idea, Your Majesty. All I... Oh, it was a fucking fire ship from Kurth. The ship arrived from Kurth just yesterday and now my docks have been destroyed. Oh, depths below. Oriad patrol the coast in her gunship? Yes. I want Oriad to destroy. Yes. Oriad is summoned from her quarters post haste. We are now tyrannical. Yes. When you tell her your plan, she is more than willing to accept and immediately set sails. Yeah, set sail. In between patrols, she even trains your other captains how to fight against Kurth's cannons. Over the coming months, trade ships from both sides come under attack. Skirmishes on the open sea between the kingdom and the Republican navies become commonplace. At least you have Oriad on your side. Can I Maui her? Please? <laughs> good news from the capital, my friend. Well, bad news, but good for us. Oh yes, fire, wanton murders, giant spider. All that and more. The fabric between worlds is wearing thin. The time is ripe to summon a demon. But which honored guest should we invite? They're going to summon Belfamanir, the hungering of absence, the queen of corruption. We'll stockpile resources before initiating the right. There's no time to waste. They must raise their trade to at least nine. Well, we'd better stop that. Stolen Cookies pulls aside a tarpaulin to reveal a granite statue of Count Miscubador. The statue is impeccably detailed, its expression a frozen grimace. A sad sight, is it not? That's not a statue, is it? Astutely observed, your majesty. This is all that remains of my fellow Count. It seems the stone maiden is abroad in the east. Who's that? 
She's a walking statue with burning yellow eyes. All who meet her gaze turn to stone. She sleeps for years at a time before waking and terrorizing the kingdom. Oh, I'm fucked, aren't I? Well, this sucks. I mean, we just, we, we have the, it's literally just a percent chance. It's literally just a, like, there's just, it's obvious what we, we select. Like, it's, yeah, not much more to do. Let's hope the XCOM rolls don't get us today. That's not a solution. That's pure cowardice. Oh, wow. The East does not like me. Oh, no. It may be cowardly, but it works. The stone maiden wanders, uh, wanders around the East aimlessly, finding nothing but barred doors and shuttered windows. At long last, she retreats to her lair deep underground and falls asleep once more. But the weeks of stillness have devastated the Eastern economy. <laughs> <laughs> I let her out of her cave, you fools. It was me all along, Barry. The opening strike of the East. Let's see what these rebels do. It's been a long time coming. Over 300 years ago, the East was conquered. But before that, we were our own rulers, with a lineage of monarchs stretching back a thousand years. If we suspect the chiefs may join their cause, we can call them to our war. They'll be more likely to join us if the queen's authority is low. We could also call upon the church to condemn the queen. Or finally, you could send an assassin to nip this in the bud. Sending an assassin after the queen, are we? Interesting. Interesting choice there. All right. Okay. The Council for Middle are not undefeatable. I hope they don't persuade any other regions to join their rebellion. That would be disastrous. How do things get this bad? The leader of the rebellion is Count Battle Tank 9 He's citing your past transgressions, such as your greedy plundering for royal tombs, the pagan northern ceremony at your coronation. Vast armies darken the landscape like the shadows of clouds. Flags are flying, drums are pounding in rhythm with the marching of boots. The kingdom is gripped with civil war. I've received word from the commander of our loyalist forces in the coast. If they march now, they'll intercept the counts in a, num in a matter of days. Alternatively, they could join forces with the army of the north. It's risky, but together they stand a higher chance of defeating those accursed counts. Guys, let me be clear on this. They have one more military than you. If you join, we're going to have 17 military against their eight. So, the patricians and chiefs should join forces. Link up with the chiefs. B, 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 is the B. Do not fall for the counts taunting you in chat. I see the counts doing that. Do not fall for them taunting you. They just want you to lose. Very good. It's glad to see there's still some loyalty in this kingdom of ours. Better creased than east, baby. Kill those cubby bastards. <laughs> now, this is probably the assassin. Something's wrong. Yep. It's not like any other. You're lying alone in your... So you're lying in your queen-sized bed alone. For once, though, your insomnia becomes comes in useful because it allows you to hear the slithering under your bed. Uh, okay. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. My honor guards are counts. If I call them, they might betray me. There is a chance they stay loyal. That's not a good chance though, right? <laughs> that loyalty message glows purple, bro. Don't listen to that shit. Uh... Your honor guard posts themselves outside your door every night. You call for them to come in and investigate the suspicious noise. I'm dead. Well, for the first time you can remember, your Eastern Knights don't come running when you call. In fact, when you look out into the corridor, there's nobody guarding your door at all. This can't be a coincidence. Have you been betrayed? When you turn around, the serpent glides out from under your beds. Before your astonished eyes, it transforms into a hooded human figure clutching a knife. The assassin steps towards you, completely unopposed. Oh, 70% chance. Try to scramble away. Fuck! 70% chance? Uh, and I'm dead. Well, lightning quick. The assassin leaps towards you. In midair, he turns back into a serpent and his fangs seep deep, uh, sink deep into your throat. Uh, man, I fucking hate the rebellions. This shit kind of sucks, honestly. Like, fuck, man. Uh, well, Patricians got beheaded. The chiefs had to retreat to the north, and the fucking counts took over. Fuck, man, what a shitty ending. What an actually trash fucking ending for that one.